Hi everybody. So today we're looking at fiction. In your class kick, you're looking at a folklore story that is a myth about how fireflies came to be. Every piece of fiction follows the same kind of plot line. You're going to have your characters, your setting, your problem, solution, and then some kind of a lesson learned. Whether the character learns a lesson or it's a lesson for the reader to learn, we're still learning a lesson. <clears throat> so I wanted to start off by reading a short story to you called Night Lights. And I want to explore how we identify what the problem is in the story. Sometimes there's lots of little problems and we're in big problem. And we have to be able to differentiate or figure out what the big problem is. Okay, so let's start by reading this story. It's called Night Lights. What is keeping Mickey awake? There were lights flashing outside. No matter what I did, I could see those lights. I couldn't figure out what they were, so I started worrying. I turned away from the window and closed my eyes, but then I had to open them just a crack to see if the lights were still there. Flash, flash, off, flash. I rolled toward the window and watched. Maybe I could figure it out. I started listing things. Car lights? Not bright enough. Police car flashers? Not blue and red enough. Spaceships? Not likely. All right, this is really bugging me. I have to go ask Mom, I finally concluded. I padded downstairs where my mom was reading a magazine. She was a little surprised to see me. The lights are flashing upstairs, I said. They are? She said it with that, this is a great excuse for being out of bed look on her face. I can't figure out what it is, I continued, hoping for some comfort. To my relief, she put down her magazine and steered me back upstairs. We laid across my bed on our stomachs and watched out the window. Mom knew right away. Mickey, do you remember driving up to visit Uncle, Wy Uncle Walt last month? She asked. I nodded. Do you remember how long it took? I nodded again. Well, Uncle Walt is having a thunderstorm way up there where his house is. The lightning is sort of shining off the clouds, so we can see the flashing down here, even though the storm is far away from us. Oh, I said. I thought to myself, well, that makes sense. After all, what else causes lights to flash in the sky? Aliens? Not likely. Okay, so this is the story, Night Lights. Our job is to figure out the problem in this story today. So I'm going to pause on my side for just a second and break out some paper to write things down on. Okay, so on my paper, I have drawn a plot line. We in a plot line for fiction, this is how the story works. And every fiction story just about does the same thing. So we have at the beginning of our story, we have our characters and setting. And then our characters face some kind of a problem or conflict. And then they figure out how to solve it. And then they solve the problem so they have a solution. And then we figure out what the lesson learned is or the beef. Okay. So in this story, our character is Mickey and Mom, and they are at home in Mickey's room, mostly. Not all the time. They go downstairs. That's where Mom was. Um, but then they come back to Mickey's room. So what is the problem in the story? What is it that Mickey goes to ask Mom about that she just can't figure out? Well, she keeps seeing lights flash, and she can't figure out what they are. She even runs through a whole list of things that they could be, and still she's puzzled. So, the problem is that lights are flashing, and she can't figure out what they are. So, what was the solution to this problem? Well, Mom said... It was a thunderstorm. way far away and you could see the lightning from the thunderstorm lightning from the thunderstorm so that's how we know uh what the solution was mom mom came up with it she's like hey it's just a thunderstorm that's really far away but we can still see the lightning and then we learn a lesson from this sometimes if you don't know what the answer is you can always ask 
somebody else. So asking for help. You can ask for help. So that's the lesson that we learned. But we had to figure out what the problem was in this story, which was that the lights were flashing based on what's happening to Mickey. So every good fiction story, there's a problem. Even in our story about the myth of how flyer, fireflies came to be, there's a problem in that story. And today, you're going to be figuring out what the problem is in the firefly story. Okie doke. So, look for uh, how the fly feels. Look for words that he says. Look for how he acts. And look for what he thinks about. T-H-I-N, okay. In other words, I can flip this all around and say, look at your character. What are they feeling, saying? How are they acting? What are they thinking? And that will help you determine the big problem in the story. The second thing we're working on today is main idea. So if I was to look at this paragraph right here, paragraph three, I'm going to reread it so that I understand what it's talking about. And then I'm going to determine main idea. So here we go. I rolled toward the window and watched. Maybe I could figure it out. I started listing things. Car lights, not bright enough. Police car flashers, not blue and red enough. Spaceships, not likely. All right, this is really bugging me. I have to go ask mom, I finally concluded. So what is paragraph three mainly about? Well, what is she talking about in this paragraph? Mickey's trying to figure out what the lights are. So, the main idea of paragraph three is trying to figure out what the lights are. What is it talking about the most? That's how we figure out main idea. All right, guys, when you read your story today, you're going to read with me. So push play on the audio file on your story page. Read out loud with me, please. This will help you with some words that you may or may not know. It also helps you with your fluency to make sure that you are reading at a nice, even pace. Afterwards, you're going to answer questions. You have your inference question of the day. That one does not use the story. Just use what you're given on question number one. On question two and three, you will use the story, How the Firefly Got Its Lights.